Hello, my name is Kim Sauer at SMT Nuremberg. I'm joined today by um, Keith Bryant. Keith, it's great to see you here, and you've got some brand new um, developments and news to share with us. So you are now part of a company called Smartloop. What, what does Smartloop stand for? What do you do? Okay, well, Smartloop is actually my idea and has become my business. Okay. I've been involved in X-Ray and AOI for almost 14 years now. Um, I've always had one problem from the very beginning, and it's the issues with inline X-Ray. Because inline X-Ray lives with false calls. People don't like to admit it. People used to not even like talking about it, but it's based on algorithms. It makes a decision based on measurements, not on anything that's more accurate. Okay. And measurements are made at low resolution with uh, X-ray tube technology that's more than 100 years old. Mm -hmm. But people say, I don't want to use a human because I'm worried about human error. But they have error in the system that they use. Mm. So it's always been an enough enough for me. Yeah. When inline X-ray, sorry, inline AOI started to improve, we now have 3D inline. So we have lots of good 2D stuff and we have Z height measurement as well. Then people started to move away a little bit from inline X-ray. Mm -hmm. But their problem was still, okay, this black component, be it a BGA, QFN or something, has a coplanarity issue, it's lifted, it's too high, it's too low, it's warped, but you don't know what the joints are doing underneath because it is optical inspection. Yeah. So it can only inspect what it sees. Yeah. Yeah? And again, people had the same argument, no, I'm going to stick with my x-ray machine because that's where I want to go. Um, I was hosting a technology day for advances in AOI a while ago. And the guys there were all talking about linking to the printer, linking to the pick and place machine, all of the stuff that actually makes sense for Industry 4.0. And it's good ideas, but it's something that's very hard to do because when you're working with algorithms, by definition, you have one answer. And when you look at a board and say, that print's not very good, there could be five or six reasons for it. And it's hard for any machine to actually make those potential five or six guesses and get it right every time. Mm. So there's still, in my view, this need for a human somewhere within the system. Mm. So I thought, these guys are kind of looking in the wrong direction. Because if they look towards the other area of inspection, which would be X-ray, and they could link offline or what some companies are calling atline X-ray with 3D AOI, so that the X-ray machine became a verification station for what happened with the AOI, I thought you've now got a much more intelligent system, and you've got that gray area completely filled because the AOI machine says, this is the suspect component. The x-ray machine says it's good or it's bad. Mm -hmm. And then quantifies the fault as bridge, open, whatever. And all that information then goes back into a nice management information system. So you have SPI data, 3D AOI data, x-ray data, all on the same screen. So you have a technician who can now change the limits on his SPI machine, change the limits on his 3D AOI machine, based on the results and the trends you're seeing from X-ray. Okay. So we have this intelligent inspection loop, if you like. Okay. And that is the, that's the essence of smart loop. Okay. And after I had the idea, I thought, yeah, great, wonderful idea, but what do I do now? So I spoke to my friends at Exelon. I chose them because they have a very strong X-ray offering. It makes imi very good images very quickly. And their software is written in such a way that it can link into other things. Most offline x-ray systems, they're not designed to link to anything because it's a, an offline standalone x-ray system. Yeah. Yeah. But these guys had actually had the foresight to write a nice open architecture software. Mm -hmm. So at Apex, both of us went to the CEO of Mirtech because Mirtech again, very strong offering, probably the best Z-height measurement. The only guys that build their own cameras in the business. So for, again, very good quality, very high end. And they said exactly the same thing. Great. We can do this. So I said, okay, but I want to launch at SMT. And their faces dropped a little bit. They said, why? And I said, because the sooner we get it out there, the sooner we know no one else is having the same idea. 
So they both put dedicated software teams to talk to the Smart Loop software guys. And between them, in the space of three months, we have a product that we demonstrated to the press this morning. We put a board in the Mirtek uh, MV7 machine. We ran the program. It said that there's some Z height issues. We took the board, we put it in the X-ray machine, we pulled down the data. So the, the X-ray machine automatically went to the area where the fault was. Operator inspects it, decides that it's good, no good, classifies the fault, and then go to the management information screen, there's all the data. Yeah. Okay. So you have complete traceability, yeah. you have everything on one screen, and you have now the, the ideal for industry 4.0 because you have intelligent machines talking to each other, albeit with a human interface. So of course for Germany a very big um, subject anyway and a, a great place to launch such a, a, a solution. Um, I know you said you only just launched it this morning, but what's been the initial feedback from people? Well, we, we had to leak it to a couple of companies last week yeah. because they, act they actually had very large meetings about what was happening for the future in terms of yield improvement. Um, I won't name the companies, but we, we, we ran information to four of them. They did their own presentations. One of them came back and said, hadn't realized inline x-ray was causing us quite so many problems, and that's very scary. And yeah, this is a brilliant idea. Uh, at the moment, say we've, we've partnered with Mirtek, we've partnered with Exelon. In theory, we could partner with other companies, but it depends on the architecture of their software their willingness to do it, and obviously investing time and people and everything else. But with Mirtek, obviously, we have a, a very large automotive uh, customer base. Mm -hmm. And with Exelon as well, also, we have a very strong German and um, automotive, high technology, high reliability type database. Yeah. So when the, both of them start talking to their customers, then yeah, we're expecting a lot of good stuff. And the feedback from people who've seen it today is, Wow, what a simple idea, and isn't it brilliant? And yeah, I'm sitting there with a bigger and bigger smile on my face. <laughs> and I'm actually that's looking at them and going, yeah, it, the idea was simple, but the integration was quite tough. But that's often the case. Simple ideas are the most, uh, well, effective, um, but yeah, they're not always the most, the easiest to, um, to translate. But um, yeah, great concept, and I'm sure um, there'll be lots of interest here at the show and going forward at the other shows. I wish you the best of um, success for it. Thank you very much. Not at all. Thank you for giving me your...